Hey everyone, welcome to the strategy video series and today in this series we'll be covering the first strategy which is short straddle. As you guys know, we are mainly non-directional traders. We are doing non-directional trades from almost around 3 to 4 years and that is primarily short straddles and short strangles. We'll start off with the series by looking at the first strategy which is short straddle. So this is going to be a complete guide to creating short straddles and also trading short straddles. So we'll be covering from the basics of creating a short straddle where we'll also look at some intricate details of short straddles which generally people miss out. Along with that, we'll also see how to adjust the short straddle and apart from theory, we will also be looking at the strategy from a practical perspective. I'll be showing you live trades where we use short straddles on an intraday trade, on a positional trade and also on expiry date trades. This is going to be a practical based video series. Whereas in the first video, we'll be looking at more on how to create short straddles and also the intricate details of short straddles. As we move on in the series, I'll also be showing you the practical aspects of trade. Before we move on to the screen recording, to get notified about the upcoming videos in this series, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon. And if you are excited to learn about short straddles, do hit the like button as well. Hey everyone, welcome to this video series on short straddle. In this series, we are going to have multiple short videos covering different aspects of short straddle. We'll mainly be covering short straddle with a discretionary perspective rather than a system based approach. So since this is the first video in the series, I want to cover basics of short straddle and also give you idea about short straddle from a different perspective. So this is one such strategy which we have been using for almost around 3-4 years now and because of this I can give you a very good idea or very different perspective to the same strategy. right? So whenever you say short straddle, it generally involves shorting a call option and put option of the same strike. So you can simply short 18,200 put option and call option together. Or you can also short 17,900 put option and call option together. So by doing the same, you'll be creating a 18,200 short straddle or a 17,900 short straddle and so on. But majority of the people, whenever you talk about short straddle, generally view short straddle to be a range bound strategy. So let me just show it to you. As you can see, here I have opened Stock Mark Strategy Builder. And whenever you open any kind of strategy builder, you always see the short straddle always comes under this neutral strategy. So there will be certain pre-built strategy and short straddles always come under neutral strategy. So if I click on short straddle, it will most likely end up creating short straddle only at at the money strikes. So right now the spot is at 18,070 and it has created a 18,050 short straddle. So whenever you talk about short straddle, the idea is pretty simple. They always consider short straddle to be a range bound strategy. Once you create short straddle, you have this particular range. So you can see the break events right over here. And the idea is fairly simple. If the market consolidates between this range, then you are going to make profit. So this is the idea of short straddle what people portray. But let me tell you, short straddle need not be always a range bound strategy. So there are five different ways how you can create a short straddle and I'm going to give you perspectives of each one of them in this introductory video. Short straddles overall can be used for five different views. If you have a bearish view, you can create a short straddle. If you have a view which is range bound bearish, you can still create a short straddle. Similarly, if you have a totally range bound view, again, you can create a short straddle or a range bound bullish or a bullish view. So you can create short straddles for five different types of view on a broader perspective. So let me just show you how you can end up creating a short straddle for a bullish view or a bearish view. So first, the most important thing what you have to do in any kind of discretionary strategy is to analyze the market. So you need to have some good idea about what are the markets saying. Is the overall sentiment in the market bullish or bearish? So what kind of bet I can take where I can maximize my risk to reward? So these are certain questions which you have to ask before you take any kind of view, right? Uh, so first, for this, what I will do is I will end up opening the charts. So right over here, I have opened charts on trading view. 
and when i look at the charts of nifty i do find some good support coming in around 18050 so right now the market is trading around 18070 and around 18050 i do see some good support for the market because you can see multiple times the market took the support and bounced from this particular point so at this point i wouldn't be going bearish on the market so i would like to either remain range bound range bound bullish or bullish so these are the three views i would be looking for so since the market has seen such a big fall i also wouldn't prefer going very bullish so that's the reason i will go with a view of range bound bullish so whenever you are trading discretionary it is always very important for you to establish a particular view on the market so there are multiple things which you have to consider before you frame a view the first thing is when you actually look at it the global markets are positive the second thing is there is continuous buying coming from foreign institutions the third thing is yesterday's fall was mostly because of msci rebalancing of hdfc bank and fourth thing is general trend of the market is very positive and finally the fifth thing is we have also approached an important support so considering these five factors so i would be slightly taking a bullish view because everything is suggesting that the markets might likely bounce so if i were to take a bullish or a range bound bullish view so i want end up creating a 18050 short straddle like how a simple strategy builder would suggest you right so as i told you short straddle simply means shorting the same strike price put or call option so it is not necessary that i should go and end up shorting 18050 itself since i am slightly bullish on the market i can also go and short 18000 150 calls and puts so by doing this i have created a 18150 short straddle the thing what you have to note here is the calls are trading at 59 rupees and the puts are trading at 120 rupees so most likely my view is bullish because the puts are trading at a much higher rate compared to calls that means if the market is bouncing i will end up with a profit so now you can also see my break evens right over here In a short straddle, you make the highest profit when the spot actually trades at the strike which you have shorted. So that means if the spot, let's say, expires at eighteen thousand one fifty, I will be making the highest profit. So even though it shows a probability of fifty five percent chance of making a profit, you know for a fact that because you have considered multiple factors, you have slightly higher probability of making some profit. So now you can see we have very simply created a range bound bullish short straddle. So to create this you need a margin of 1.2 lakh and you have a bullish view on the short straddle. So let us see what will end up happening if the market opens range bound, if the market opens slightly bearish or if the market opens slightly bullish. As we know the spot currently is at 18070. So we'll see what is going to be our P and L. in case if the market opens around 18000 that is bearish 70 points lower than where we are or what is going to be our p and l if the market opens range bound or similarly what is going to be our p and l if the market opens bullish at 18150 so let's go to monday 9:30 am on a strategy builder and look for our p and l so in this strategy builder i'm going to first change the target date to 8th may 9:30 am So once I have changed the target date now let us see what will happen if the market opens range bound so 1 18070 so if the market is opening range bound you can see the target pnl here so let's make a note of it if the market is opening range bound then we'll be approximately making around 2000 rupees so this is with a range bound opening so even though you have made a bullish short straddle you can see even with a range bound opening you are ending with pretty good profits so now we will just change the spot to 18000 and see what is going to be the p and l there so you can see that even with a opening around 18000 where the market has gone 0.4% against you still the target p and l shows 241 rupees so that means you are still not going to a loss you are still going to have a profit of 
241 rupees. So let's also make a note of that. So now we'll see the bullish scenario. What if market opens at 18150? So where we have created a short straddle. So you can see we'll be making close to around 2600 rupees. So let's uh, also make a note of that. So you can see even if the market is slightly opening lower, range bound or bullish, you will be making profit in all three scenarios. So this is slightly range bound bullish short straddle where you have shorted 60 rupee call and 120 rupee put. So now let us assume one more case where we are opening directly at the break even that is 17,972. So let's say unfortunately our view went wrong and we opened at 17,972. So we will be having a loss of 711 rupees so almost around 700 rupees so let me just uh, make a note of that you know for a fact that there is very high chance of v opening either range bound or bullish considering the different factors in the market but let's still give it a element of doubt and we say that there is only 50 50 chance that the market can open range bound or bullish or uh, the market can actually end up opening at the break even. So now there is a 50% chance of making a loss where you will end up opening around break even and you have negative 700 rupee loss. Or there is a 50% chance where you open range bound or bullish and uh, here you make a profit of let's say approximately 2100 rupees. So you can see this is a very good bet to take because even though you know for a fact that even if you're just trading with a 50-50 chance, you still have a risk to reward of 1 is to 3. So this is a really good bet to take considering the risk to reward. But in reality, you know that the probability is much higher. The probability can be something like 60 or 70% and the probability of we opening at break even can be somewhere around 30 to 35%. And so more or less, it is a bet where you have a probability of 35% loss with 1 is to 3 risk to reward. And this is going to be a really good bet to take. So right over here, you can see Short straddle is not just restricted to a range bound strategy. You can end up creating short straddles if you have a bullish view, if you have a bearish view or even if you have a range bound view. So this is one perspective which a lot of people miss while doing short straddle because they always focus on creating short straddle as a range bound strategy because people tell if the market moves up or moves down, if you create a short straddle, you will end up losing money. So that is not always the case. You can first analyze the market, make your perspectives right and then take a call on where to create a short straddle. So you might ask me, how is it possible that we achieve such good risk to reward by creating a short straddle? So let me explain this in a very simple way. So you know for a fact that in any option sell strategy, the theta will always act in your favor. So theta will always give you positive returns in any option sell strategy. If the market is going down also, theta will act in your favor. If the market is going up, even then the theta will act in your favor. But if the market goes down, what will happen? The delta will act against you because you have a bullish view. And if the market goes up, the delta will act in favor of you because you have a bullish view. So here you can see what exactly will end up happening. The gains made by theta is offset by delta. Whereas when the market goes up, both theta and delta will help you make money. So to understand this in a better way, let's assume theta gives you 700 rupees profit irrespective of the markets going up or down. So now let us say the market goes down since delta is acting against you because of which you might end up losing around 1400 rupees. And if the market goes up, since delta will act in favor of you, you will make 1400 rupees. So here you can see if the market is going up because of theta and delta put together, you make 2100 rupees. And here, because delta is acting against you and theta is acting in your favor, you make 
negative 700 rupees. Thereby, you end up with a risk to reward of 3 is to 1. So now, the question would be, what if the market opens in my favor and then starts coming down? What would I do? Should I always hold the short straddle till expiry? So this is one perspective which I want to cover in the next video. And with this, we also come to the end of this first video. I hope this video was informative. If so, then do not forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining.